What's up Jalopnik? I'm Justin Westbrook and today I'm going to tell you five things about the 2018 Nissan LEAF SL. So something kind of funny about electric cars is that they're super quiet. But when you go to turn them on, that can be a problem because you're not exactly sure that it's ready to drive. So Nissan has come up with a special symbol that lights up on the dashboard to let you know that the car is on and it is ready to drive. So I'm going to show you how it works. You hold down the button to turn the car on. You see everything light up. I don't hear anything. I don't really see anything. So the symbol lights up. It's this little green car with arrows pointed this way. And it's not exactly you know, intuitive or clear what it means, but if you look it up, it means that the car is ready to drive, I guess, that's what the arrows mean, drive forward and drive backward. And, uh, and then you're ready to go. Off you go in your little electric, your little electric car. Another interesting thing about the display on the Nissan LEAF is the range estimate. It gives you a live readout of how much power you're using how much brake region you're getting and how many miles you have left. So currently I have 84 miles left, but I can change that by changing certain things on the car. So for example, if I turn off the AC, you can actually see the electric range go from 83 miles to 92 miles when I turn off the air conditioning. It's almost like they're incentivizing you to suffer through the heat, like you're driving some early 90s piece of crap, uh, but you're in a $38,000 electric car. Another weird thing is that by default, the screen goes black. So you can change the song, you can use the navigation, but every few seconds, it will just go back to black unless you go in and you manually tell it to just stay on constantly. It can be kind of frustrating for navigation, but it's also like a really interesting reminder that you are in an, ele in an electric car and you're trying to save power. Nissan has also reinvented the wheel with their gear selector. Instead of like a traditional gear stick sort of object, you have this weird little dial circular thing in a ball that you push to the left and then either forward for reverse, back for drive, or if you go back again, it goes into what Nissan calls B mode. And what B mode is, is it, it's like an enhanced brake regeneration mode where the brake region, when you have that setting turned on, is super hard, super firm, and super sort of jolting, but that's how you're gonna get maximum power back when you're driving and slowing down. A funny thing about the Nissan LEAF is that it's a front wheel drive car, it's an electric car, but it has a transmission tunnel. It shouldn't need a transmission tunnel because there's no transmission running to the back wheels. So why did they install this hump back here? And you might think, oh, there might be something to do with the batteries or the motors or something, but no. If you take this panel off, you can look that it's, it's mostly hollow. I can see just metal and this is all hollow space. So it's a great place to store, you know, like secret stuff. I'm not gonna say drugs, but you know, you can use your imagination. Um, but it's just sort of a weird quirk about the car. And maybe it might have something to do with the, uh, the architecture for the longer range model, which is yet to be revealed. Um, but for now, it's just sort of a waste of space and it's gonna make your middle passenger uh, pretty miserable. So on the Nissan Leaf key, Instead of a trunk release button or a hatch release button, you get a electric door release button. So if I hold this down, this thing pops up and you can see this is where you plug in the electric charger. Charge times, it's about 30 minutes to 45 minutes using a fast charger, which you're gonna find in a nice city like New York City. Um, or if you use the charger that's provided, uh, like at your house or out of your garage, it's gonna take about eight hours to fully charge. Nissan Leaf SL. Check it out. Do that one more time. Yeah, I forgot the name of it for like a split second. Okay. <laughs> 